This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorndorf. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. what the deal is with this Commissioner Von Johnson, but he's been sitting talent in against my man time and time and time again. Have they walked away with the belt? Oh, you see, that's not the case, is it? That's not. Nobody's been able to get the job done, so you bring two people after me, Von Johnson! Who the hell do you think you are? I have the very best in the business watching my back. Slick unit! I don't think so! Eddie Edwards! Just Mr. Japan, Mr. 2005, Wrestler of the Year! How are you the Wrestler of the Year? For two and a half years, nobody has taken this from me! That's what it's all about. You might be the best wrestler on TV, but I'm the best freaking worker in the world! And that's not conceded. That's the truth. <laughs> Tonight is my first chance at the heavyweight championship, the MWF heavyweight championship. You see, I've never had my opportunity. You see, I have this television championship because I went through Fergal Devitt, Jarrell Clark, John Walters, and Slick Wagner Brown himself. And what do I get? I haven't got my shot yet, but tonight, tonight is the night I get my chance. Dylan Cage, you've been champion for two and a half years, but you haven't done it on your own. You know it, I know it, and the fans know it. You wouldn't have that belt if it wasn't for Piercy Pringle, Danny Jacks, and Jimmy Jack Cash. So tonight, Dylan, I'm gonna be leaving this venue with the television championship in my left hand and the heavyweight championship in my right. It's time for the main event, a triple threat match for the Millennium Wrestling Federation. Heavyweight champion, sudden impact Dylan Cage with Percy Pringle III, Paul Bear, and Jimmy Jack Cash at ringside against TV champion Eddie Edwards, whose belt is not on the line, and Slick Wagner Brown, the man that Dylan Cage defeated on the May edition of MWF Ultra. So look at Percy Pringle riling up those, wait a minute, wait, he's gonna take a swing at him. Commissioner Von Johnson's made his way to ringside. This is Rick Carpenter. He's gonna show Percy Pringle his tattoo, and we all know what that says. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a one hour time limit on this match. If the match is still in progress when this program is over, it will continue on the June edition of MWF Extra. I know we have already advertised that we will be emanating from Las Vegas, Nevada in June as well as July on Extra, but we will show the conclusion of this match if we run out of time on this program. And I'm I'm just receiving a note right here. Apparently there was some kind of a scuffle in the back between Southern Extreme, the Widowmaker, and the Texas Outlaw. The Texas Outlaw was so angry, he said he was going to get up on his horse and ride off into the sunset. I'm not quite sure what that means. Maybe we'll have more information on that on MWFProWrestling.com as well. Check out that website. A lot of bad blood here in the MWF and you never know what to expect. New tag team champions on this program. An angry cowboy headed back to Brokeback Mountain. But here he is right now, a man that has done it all in the MWF. One of my personal favorites. A man that has made a name for himself, not only in the United States, but in the land of the rising sun. Die Hard Eddie Edwards, the MWF TV champion, dating back to February 5th, 2005 when he defeated TNA star Mr. 6.30 Jarrell Clark in the tournament finals. He's held that belt with honor and respect ever since, unlike the MWF heavyweight champion Sudden Neck Impact Dylan Cage, unlike our new tag team champions, the Canadian superstars. Eddie Edwards has yet to receive a shot at that belt. Tonight is his night. And look at Percy Pringle, he's an angry man. But then again, if you had to wake up and look at that face in the mirror, you might be too. Eddie Edwards has to be leery with Jimmy Jack Cash at ringside. He doesn't have a managerial's license. 
I don't understand why Sal Gilberto is allowing him to stay at ringside. You know it's a big one when Rich Palladino gets in the middle of things. And now it's time for the second challenger. Two arch rivals that squared off last month on the May Ultra. And he gets yet another shot. Commissioner Von Johnson put the match together. Oh, wait just a minute. Dylan Cage attacks Eddie Edwards. His slick Wagner Brown. He didn't even wait for him. Oh, wait just a minute. Dylan Cage looks like a seesaw going up and down, back and forth. Double poke to the eye on Dylan Cage. Cage shut off the ropes. Up and down. Look at the height Dylan Cage was up for on that one. Holding hands with a double nip up. This is almost a handicap match. However, before it's all said and done, you know Eddie Edwards and Slick Wagner Brown do not want to see the other capture of the gold. Dylan Cage again being thrown around like a football. I haven't seen a ball hit that out at Fenway Park yet this season. Brown and Eddie Edwards double clothesline on the champion. Percy Pringle is not happy. And they throw Cage over the top rope like he's street trash. Jimmy Jack Cash trying to help his fallen friend as Percy Pringle looks on. And look at that. As predicted, Eddie Edwards and Slick Wagner Brown tie up. These two individuals squared off on Christmas Clash, a big event Christmas night of last year, and in a tremendous 20-minute match, Eddie Edwards pinned Slick Wagner Brown. You know Slick Wagner Brown's thinking about that. Eddie Edwards with the upper hand right now, but a reversal from Slick. Some chain wrestling here in the early minutes of this matchup. Slick Wagner Brown has not only done it all in New England, but he's done it all here in the MWF, except win an MWF title. He'd like either the TV or the heavyweight. But tonight, only the MWF Heavyweight Championship is on the line. If Slick Wagner Brown were to pin Die Hard Eddie Edwards, he would become the MWF Heavyweight Champion and not the TV Champion. This match is not being contested under elimination style rules, as was the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team title match earlier in this program. Two different sets of rules for two different matches. Brown and Eddie Edwards to their feet. Two tremendous athletes, hungry young athletes at their best. This isn't playtime wrestling. It isn't candy store wrestling. This is an athletic competition for pride, fame, cash, and not to be confused with Jimmy Jack, and 15 pounds of gold in their bag. Double baseball slide from Slick Wagner Brown and Dylan Cage. And Eddie Edwards, I'm getting the names confused. He almost sent the trifecta into the third row. Look at Percy Pringle run off like a thief in the night, looking for his next meal. Jimmy Jack Cash goes face first into the post. And this is turning into mayhem. Eddie Edwards and Dylan Cage are in the back of the building as Percy Pringle looks on. Cash is stunned from going face first into that metal post. Slick has Dylan Cage. Edwards is holding him. What a right from Slick. Commissioner Von Johnson lurks in the background as well. Wait a minute. They just brawled into the men's room. Now they're over by the bar. Ladies and gentlemen, we're seeing it all. Referee Sal Gilberto has, has given them a lot of leeway is I guess this could be ruled a, a, a triple count out if he was counting. I think he's trying to get the action back in the ring. He knows the fans want a quality championship matchup, not a disqualification finish like we saw last month. They're beating the tower out of Dylan Cage, or Monkey Boy as the fans affectionately call him. Cage is begging right now. Oh, but a low blow from Dylan Cage. That's going to put Slick out of commission for a minute. Or more. Break to the eye there on Die Hot Eddie Edwards. Edwards could seize the opportunity here with Slick Wagner Brown out. 
Elbow from Cage, the cocky champion. He has the advantage again. One and a half. And Jimmy Jack Cash got a few shots in on Slick Wagner Brown right there. And a right from Dylan Cage. Two and a half years he's been the champion. But tonight, he has the odds against him as he puts the boot to Slick Wagner Brown, the boot to Eddie Edwards. And that foot, when it's elevated for the Cavour kick, it's nothing but trouble. And it always spells success for sudden impact. With that right hand from Jimmy Jack Cash almost took off die out Eddie Edwards' head. Eddie Edwards is fresh off a tour of pro wrestling nowhere over in Japan. The entire month of April, he was tearing down the house every night, much like our friend Fergal Devitt is right now as we speak over in New Japan. Everyone in Japan was asking Edwards, when are you going to get that title shot? Barrett chokes out Cage Brown with a cane. A fist of cuffs from Edwards and Cage. Up and over. Eddie Edwards now with the advantage. That low blow took its toll on Brown. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, oh, no. Not enough from Cage in a forearm to the face. One, two. Cage out at two and three quarters right there. Slick Wagner Brown's able to elevate himself. Percy Pringle can't believe it. Into the turnbuckle to a face full of foot. What a maneuver right there from Slick Wagner Brown. Using his legs and his body weight. Pringle's ready to hit him with the cane. Cash is up on the apron. And Eddie Edwards just watches. That's some smart wrestling. And look at the maneuver Eddie Edwards puts on to Slick Wagner Brown. I don't know if that would be considered a choke. But he breaks it before Sal Gilberto gets a look. And they get ready for another, looks like another double team maneuver right here. The champion goes up. Down. Double belly to back on Dylan Cage. Eddie Edwards off the rope. Knee to the face. And then Dylan's old friend Slick. Uh-oh. He's going to change Dylan Cage's social plans for the evening. He's not going to look like our friend Matt at the end of an MWF event with his girlfriend. Knee to the midsection. Dylan Cage is going to be singing soprano, and I'm not talking Tony after that one. Brown and Eddie Edwards set Dylan Cage up off the ropes. Elbow from Eddie Edwards. Dylan Cage is taking a beating so far in this match. Dylan Cage up again like a rag doll at this point. He's on cloud nine. Jimmy Jack Cash with the assist right there. Pulls Eddie Edwards down and is beating him. He perhaps could have broken Eddie Edwards' nose. Slick goes for the cover. Two. Two in seven-eighths at this point. Slick Wagner Brown is smelling that championship leather that he wants around his waist. Cash continues to put the boots to Eddie Edwards. Percy Pringle. The effort it takes a man of that size to even lift his leg. Jimmy Jack Cash is really laying those tree trunk like arms into Eddie Edwards. Face first into the canvas. Cage with a boot to the midsection on Slick Wagner Brown. Sets him up off the ropes. Cage kicks Slick to the face. Up. Spine buster from Slick Wagner Brown. Could that be it? One, two. Eddie Edwards had enough to get back into the ring and break up in that cover, or we were going to see a new MWF heavyweight champion. Slick Wagner Brown isn't happy about that one at all. Who is going to leave with the championship belt on Ultra?
He goes for the roll up right there. Real smart. Two. Stuck by the Brown kicks out. Dylan Cage didn't have enough in the gas tank to break it up. Small package. Slick reverses it on Eddie Edwards, too, but he's right there to kick him off. I think he's sending a message to Eddie Edwards right there more than he was looking to help Dylan Cage win the title. Look at that roll up from Dylan Cage. One. Eddie Edwards rolls Dylan up. One, two. Cage with a kick to the head. What a matchup we're seeing here on Ultra. Kick to the ribs. That's got to hurt. Look at Dylan Cage. He, he doesn't know where he is. Boot to the midsection. Pounding away on Dylan Cage. He's hated this man for over four years. He wants nothing more than to end his championship title reign. Eddie Edwards or no Eddie Edwards. Look at that. Lifting the shirt up. He looks like the machine Frankie Pizzle right there. Chopped to the midsection. And there's going to be more. The, face, the shirt's up over the face again. He's trying to depants him, maybe? That's usually Zach Carter's role. Another chop. Slick doesn't see it, but Eddie Edwards is going up to the top rope. What are we going to see next? Forearm from Brown. Double drop kick on Slick and Dylan Cage. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. The one stone was the MWF television champion, Die Out Eddie Edwards. Edwards takes Cage, puts him up on that top rope. What a chop. Eddie Edwards is going up. What are we going to see here? He's going for the suplex. Cage is trying to block it. Edwards to the top himself, but is crotched on that top rope. Dylan Cage, and he out to the floor. Dylan Cage is lucky there. Slick Wagner Brown comes back with another right. He's going up to the top now. Sal Gilberto doesn't know what's going on. Look at the poor man. Brown is going for a suplex, and Cage is fighting him off. Pushes Brown off the top rope. Dylan Cage is fighting to survive, but the bottom line is he's surviving. Cage from the top, we attempted the swanton bomb and moved. We haven't seen that in Dylan Cage's arsenal in quite some time. Slick Wagner Brown to his feet first. Eddie Edwards still out on the floor. Could the championship be Brown's? He's twisting Dylan Cage into a pretzel. What are we going to see right here? Modified powerbomb. That could be it. Two. Eddie Edwards. Just in the nick of time. Prevents Slick Wagner Brown from winning that championship belt. Percy Pringle looks like he's going to have a heart attack out there at ringside. Slick sets Dylan Cage up. Reversal from the champion. Elbow to the face. Dylan ducks the punch. Look at that. His own version of the stroke right there. He doesn't even have enough in the gas tank to get on top of him. Yes, he does. Two. Eddie Edwards makes the save. I'm going to lose my voice if the action keeps up at this pace. Break to the eye from Dylan Cage. He tells Gilberto to move. He's going back up to the top rope once again. Eddie Edwards with a flying forearm. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Widow's peak type maneuver right there on Dylan Cage. Could that be it? Two. Slick Wagner Brown's there to slap Eddie Edwards on the top of the head. And again, Brown tosses Cage out of the ring like he's trash. And he's getting a little aggravated with Eddie Edwards. Brown sets up Edwards. Ducking another kick to the chest of Slick Wagner Brown. Eddie Edwards... Wait a minute! That could be it right there! That could have broken Dylan, Eddie Edwards' back! One! Two! Dylan Cage and Eddie Edwards at the same time prevent that from happening. Slick's pulling, is being pulled out of the ring, I should say, by Dylan Cage. 
like a monster from under the bed in a horror movie. Okay, Cheesy has the chance for the pinfall. One, two, two and 15 sixteenths. Eddie Edwards has a little bit left. Oh, wait a minute. He's warming up the bandwagon. And we're not talking about a Shawn Michaels super kick. It's the Kavor kick. Kavor kick to the face. That could be it. Two, three. Sudden impact. Dylan Cage defies the odds and retains the MWF Heavyweight Championship. I cannot believe it. Dylan Cage's Kavor kick has rearranged more faces than a plastic surgeon. And again here on the June Ultra, retains the belt. Jimmy Jack Cash is pounding away at his rival Slick Wagner Brown at ringside. Percy Pringle's got that cane. Wait a minute, Dylan Cage, is he going to show him his championship belt? I don't think so. I almost took off Eddie Edwards' head with that belt. He could have broken his nose with the Cavort kick. Cash throws Slick Wagner Brown into the ring. And what is he going to do? The same thing to Slick Wagner Brown? Bash his face in with a 15-pound gold belt? The fans are on their feet here. Slick Wagner Brown knocked down to his carcass. And Jimmy Jack Cash is giving him a brow beating. Comes referee Jean Villion. Cash puts the boots to Eddie Edwards. This is a disgrace. Oh, wait a minute. He just kicked Horshack. Sal Gilberto in the midsection. That's uncalled for. That's going to cost him some money. I see a fine coming from Commissioner Von Johnson. Now they're pointing in Philly own. Just break it up, Dylan. Ke oh, wait a minute. Another boot to the midsection. Oh, no. Oh, no. Pile driver on referee Jean Filion. Someone come out here and break this up. Wait a minute. What does Percy Pringle have? He. Those look like a pair of handcuffs. God only knows why he has those. Referees are scattered all over the floor. They're going to handcuff the MWF television champion to the middle rope, it looks like. Look at Cash. We need some law and order out here. Von Johnson's just standing there like a complete moron. And I know we've used that line before, but nonetheless. What's he going to do? He's going to return the favor to... Oh, punch to the groin. It is, wait a minute, Rick Carpenter... This is Black Lotus, Matt Lynch, and Osiris. Percy Pringles, look at him, pound on Carpenter with the cane. Cash has Osiris up. Down. Oh. He's going to need to see a chiropractor right there. Maybe he needs to see Lockwood and Associates down in Connecticut. Here come the former tag team champions, Todd Hanson and Bo Douglas. Wait a minute, the Canadian superstars, the new MWF tag team champions. What a shot from Dave Cullen to Todd Hanson. This is out of control. We need some law and order out here at ringside. Percy Pringle broke the cane over Carpenter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is too much mayhem. We'll be right back. <laughs>